Hello everyone, welcome back. So, I've been inspired by Natarum today, watching one of her videos, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm using an art resin, which is quite thick, as you can see. I don't know whether it would work, and it is from Solid Solutions. Um, I am going to be using Ranger Alcohol Inks and Piñata Inks. Um, in her video, she uses some alcohol inks and some acrylic inks. Well, you should have fun when you're doing your art. I have no idea what her quantities are because she didn't give quantities in her video. For the blue, for the black, and I don't think I have the right, I think this is not going to work with this one. Yeah, I'll use this other one here. I think that will probably work better. Okay, this one here, it's only got two colours in it. One is supposed to be the black, and I think she did three, four. I think I just did more than four here. Did about five drops of the alcohol ink. Very cold here today, guys. Uh, we are going into winter. So unfortunately, in where I live in Australia, it's the bottom part of Australia and it gets very cold. I had to warm up my little room where I do my art. So I've got six drops and this is the Ranger. And what color is this one? This one is the Glazier by Ranger. And I've got the stream also. I'm gonna add a couple of drops of the stream. So I've got three drops actually in there. It's gone very green now. <laughs> uh, a little bit too green. I might put some more blue into it because this uh, stream has taken over. <laughs> So I've put another three drops of the glazier. And something else she actually adds, uh, she adds, adds mica powder to it. Put a bit of interference blue. Not much, just a little bit. She puts a lot, but I'm I'm putting only a little bit. Okay, so now, of course, I have made a mess. Wouldn't you know? I've managed to get something into my mold. Don't know what, but something. So the next thing is we are going to pour out black first and I don't know whether it will work or not because it is the first time I'm doing this with this resin but let's have some fun with it. Okay so and then you pour a little bit in the middle Push everything out. And 
for the rest. Add a bit more. Let's take some bubbles because I can see a lot of bubbles. And now comes the fun part. It's very, very simple pour, only two colors. And then you do little loops, just little loops. That's it. And you pour some more of your clear. Wait for it to close up a bit. I think I need it to put more. <clears throat> Wait for it to close up a little bit. Right, and you do the same thing all over again. More little loops. And the same thing again. And just be careful that you don't overfill your mold. Take out some more bubbles. And that's basically, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's basically it. Nothing else more to it. Right, and now for the middle. Yep. This is from Larissi, and it's holographic chunky glitter. And a little bit of this one here, also from Lorisin. This is green and it's fluorescent, iridescent. It says blue chunky, but to me, it looks more green than blue. Let's see which one shows more. Okay guys, that's it. Now it's just a matter of waiting and seeing what happens. Whether it does work or whether it doesn't. I'll be back when it's time to demold. Bye for now. Hello again. So it's that time. Has it work? 
It's got a beautiful shine. I don't know whether you can guys can see it in this side. Beautiful metallic shine. So let's hope it's pretty. Mm. This is lightly transparent. Oh, that is very pretty. Yeah, quite happy with the outcome. Look how pretty that is. Yep. That's very beautiful. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. Bye for now.